Good morning guys! This video I recorded right after the last one I did because I totally forgot to finish uh, the last episode last night. Uh, the weather today is absolutely amazing waking up at this uh, little hotel right here. I'm just gonna have my breakfast and then I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, all packed up. Uh, things are still charging a little bit here and there but yeah. Um, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning, 7.15 I think. Don't want to waste a minute of this good weather. The map for today, let me show you on the map, is to go from here where I'm staying tonight. Then I'll pretty much follow Route 1 up until here. And then I'll start to wake my way around the West Fjords these days. I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just see how far I get. Um, I want to get at least perhaps, yeah, up here somewhere. It's supposed to be a lot of campsites and a lot of um, gas stations and stuff in this area, so no need to stress about that. Um, yes, excited. Let's get going. Okay. A bit of a wrist update it's still still bugging me a little bit it's quite painful to like twist and bend just like yesterday but um luckily clutching is no problem so let's get this day started Quickly stop in here to put on my heated jacket. It's been down to five degrees, it's now seven degrees in the morning. Quite, quite crisp air, I should say so. Um, and it's not just that it makes you more comfortable, but riding it though in those cold conditions over a longer period of time, it just makes your muscle stiff and your reaction a little bit slower so it's also sort of a safety measure just to you know make sure you stay somewhat nice and warm while riding just to have your body function at least in the proper way all right guys we are officially at the roots of the west fjords from this point it's gonna be Pretty much just following uh, the coastline, and yeah, just see just see what the nature has to offer.
almost 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, the sun is still out. It's so beautiful. Um, it's getting a little bit... Hold on, let's see. Temperature here. A little bit chilly. Um, in the shadow here. I um, have about 20 minutes to go, I think, until I am at the camping that I want to stay at tonight. I have driven, I think, about 400 kilometers today, which is <laughs> quite a distance compared to the other days. I think yesterday was about barely 100 kilometers, so it's just I got up early and the weather has just been so nice and I'm doing, um, it's like 99% tarmac, these roads, so it's just, we're going a lot faster, um, so yeah. This day gets a 10 out of 10, easily. It's a very bright light. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got my map ready for you guys to show you where I uh, where I rode today. Today has been by far um, the day that I has, have been driving um, the furthest. Not exactly sure how far I've ridden, but it's over 400 kilometers. So I think like 430 or something. So let's see on a map. I started. Here this morning, uh, headed straight out for the road number uh, one, which is the Ring Road road. Um, road it up to the beginning of the West Fjords, and then just following the coastline here. Um, cross over here because you can't ride all the way around here. Um, you can ride out here, and then you have to go back again. So across the mountain here, and then out and in and out of it and then in and, blah, 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 and boom i am in isafjordur tonight at the camping just at the tip of the west fjords out here so yeah from all the way down here to all the way up here it's quite quite a stretch actually um tomorrow i'll just continue around there's one road going around this island, I know, um, which is one of the, I think it's named like one of the dangerous motorcycle roads in Iceland. I'm not decided yet if I'm going to do it or not. I don't really think so. It would be cool, but I'm 
yeah. I'll see tomorrow how big my balls are and then I'll decide. Anyway, super, super nice uh, day today. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock now in the evening. The camping here is really nice. Um, yeah, it's quite cold. I think it's about five degrees top. Um, yeah, so it's not just gonna be a chilly one. Uh, that's no problem. The only problem is getting out in the I'll just leave him back tomorrow morning, that's the hard part, but we can do that because tomorrow is also supposed to be a good day, weather-wise that is, so yeah, all in all, great day, um, thank you guys for watching this episode and I uh, hope I'll see you tomorrow, bye!